guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have never done a get ready with me um, in the morning face makeup hair for YouTube. So that's what I plan on doing today. So hope you enjoyed today. Basically every single day I wear a little top knot. I don't know where it came from. It's just kind of become my signature go-to. On IG you can see me wearing these all the time. And it looks a little bit different every day, but I just take a little stretchy and then I pull this forward. There's really no exact way that I do it. It looks a little bit different every day. And then my hair is naturally curly. And so then I just like curl a couple pieces around my face to kind of define those curls. The same type of curler that I've used since high school. And I finally had to replace it after probably, I feel like it was like 10 or 15 years and then I finally got a new one. Cause I had it all the way through high school and before it, which I can't think of many things in my life that I've had that long, that I actively use. Besides my alarm clock, I have this one alarm clock that I've literally had, God, I, can't, I can't even remember my life without the alarm clock and it's still in our room. Some things just last a long time. So basically I just curl a couple of pieces of hair and I curl it like backwards. I like draw them out so that my hair lays a little bit flatter and it gives it more of a wavy look versus a crunchy curl look. And I've already took my frownies off, so you guys missed that. Maybe I'll add in the part of me taking it off because I recorded it for IG. Okay, I'm on day 13, 14 of wearing frownies every day in a row. Usually I have my whole forehead covered, but last night I just did one little square. And when I first started, I was having to get the whole frowny like completely wet to take it off. I don't know what's happening. I can take it off when it's dry now. But and I don't maybe I'm just getting the cover. <laughs> I'm just gonna peel it off. And extremely smooth. I love it. And I can also say that by the end of the day, my lines are not as intense as how they were previous to ever wearing brownies. I just am learning that awareness because when you first are wearing these and you take them off, it feels like there's still a frowny there, almost like your your face is a little bit numb and a little bit sore. My face isn't uh, sore anymore, but it does, like I still feel like there's a frowny right there. And so it just reminds me not to move my face. And so I've been really working on it. And by the end of the day, my, you know, those wrinkles, those deep lines take a long time to reverse with these versus something like Botox. So. I'm just trying really hard to be very aware of my face posture and focusing on not moving my forehead and holding like that's such an intense like face all the time which I am notorious for so highly recommend highly recommend so I got my food sensitivity test today or result coming in I have a meeting with my uh, my like health team from Equal Life, I did their food sensitivity test and I'm partnering with them, so I've got a 10% off discount code. I'm super excited. I'm ready to make some big food changes. We've been vegan for five years and last July we started adding in fish and seafood and we recently just started adding in eggs, which I never thought I would eat again, but I'm really just like, I'm done with like hard labels and like feeling restricted by those things. I really just want to feel really good and I'm struggling with gut issues. I still am and I just want to get to the root of it and I feel like it's what I'm putting in my body. So I think I'm really going to take whatever the food sensitivity test results are and really take it to heart and really kind of redefine what kind of diet or eating style I want to have especially for the kids too, just trying to live a long time. I feel like we're gonna probably go somewhere towards like the Mediterranean blue zone diet, which is kind of eating a little bit of everything, um, but the best qualities. And I just don't know, like the meat, they do like five times a month, like it's very minimal. I just can't see myself eating red meat again, um, like mentally, but anyways. So basically my entire base is all dime products. So after my frownies, I like to use the super firm serum just as like a spot treatment for the places that I want to hold. 
So this instantly firms and like tightens your skin. So I usually wear this on my forehead, right where I just put a frowny on. So this is what I call my liquid Botox, even though it's all clean, vegan, cruelty-free, every single ingredient inside of Dime products are a three or less on the EWG scale. So I love Dime, I've been using them since March of 2021 and they have changed my face, changed my skin completely. So you wanna let the super firm dry and kind of like harden and it just, it just tightens up your skin. Sometimes I'll put it on my eyes too. Um, but, and then I use the TBT serum. This is their Turn Back Time Serum. This also helps with firming the skin. It has peptides in it, it's really nourishing for the skin. So I use this all over my face. And I always do the super firm first and then everything else goes on top. I actually don't wear any face makeup. I used to wear face makeup. Uh, years ago and then I just stopped and I feel like that has also helped my skin a lot especially just because you know I'm in fitness and so I'm always like sweating or touching my face and with the kids like I just feel like me and face makeup just like don't go well together um so after the TBT serum I use hyper glow hyper glow is a vitamin C serum and so listen to a bunch of skin podcasts and they always say like the experts always say like the number one thing oh my gosh I almost cried my eye the number one thing that you need to add that everybody needs is a vitamin c serum so I take a vitamin c serum after this I'm gonna like let the layers kind of build I used to just go straight to my hyaluronic hyaluronic serum but I started adding in this thirsty face mist, which is basically just electrolytes for your face because hyaluronic acid is activated with moisture. So you basically are just like prepping for this hyaluronic acid to work better. So just activate a little bit better. Now I didn't use this thirsty face or the, the thirsty face mist for the first like six months that I used time and you know, I still felt like I did so much for my skin even without it and then when it came out with that I did start adding it in. I'm almost done. Moving on to the eye serum. You can just see like how shiny and like tight everything pulls back. I love it. As somebody that has never had any Botox filler, we don't even have facial, but honestly I would I would like to have a facial one day. I just don't live in a place that has those. But hopefully we are moving soon and I will be able to get facials regularly. So I feel like it's part of like the shedding, exfoliating. You know, you need a couple layers taken off. Anyways, okay, so luminosity. I'm gonna let this kind of sit for a sec. And then this is not something that I do every day, but I'm looking especially white lately. So I've got my tanology, tan uh, face and body drops. I've also used the Isla Paradise and I love those ones. Um, I just ran out. So I've also got the Dewy Day Cream. So basically you just take, I'm almost out of this. You just take some, whatever your moisturizer is. And I've never had a problem with like spotting or like splotchiness with these face drops like at all. So basically I just take a little bit of lotion, moisturizer, and then I just take one or two drops. And I just kind of mix it together, like not perfect, but, and then I just, Put that one on. Basically, just replaces any face makeup I would have to change the color of my face, especially because it's winter right now. So I love these drops as a way to bring a little bit of color, but I don't have to like put it on and can't like rub off. So I always take it down to the neck. That is the face routine. You want to make sure that you the dime eyebrow enhancing gel. So it usually looks like this but i also have the duo where you have the eyelash serum which i don't really use if i run out of this i actually just put the eyelash serum in this bottle and shake it up and use it because it's almost the same formula um but basically it is just a way to make my eyebrows look a little bit more wild i have my eyebrows microbladed and i've gotten them done twice like over a long period of time and i never go get the touch up which i always need and i found myself last year filling in my eyebrows with makeup 
and since using this eyebrow enhancing gel, which is basically, it fosters the growth of your eyebrow hair, it has grown back so much thicker and stronger. And I do not go in my eyebrows anymore with any makeup at all. I have just used this and basically I just use it to style my brows while also nourishing the hair to grow back thicker and stronger. That bottle is almost empty, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Every color from the Sahara palette from Young Living, clean ingredients also. So basically I take the white color, I get underneath my eyebrows. I'm not a makeup person, like a tutorial person, but I get asked all the time, so that's why I'm making this. But don't judge me if you are a makeup artist, okay? Or a hairstylist, because I know. Basically, I just like scrub, like smash the ends of my hair and draw it out and call it a hairstyle. But if you've got curly hair tips or products that you love, let me know, put them in the comments, because I currently use Shea Moisture and also this like brand from Target that's like um, called Kristen something. I don't really know. I haven't found something that I really, really love. I still don't know what I'm doing with my curly hair after almost 30 years of having it, but it's all right. So basically I take that red color and then gold and just kind of mix it up. Again, I really don't know what I'm doing, but it works for me. So that's what I do, another brush. And I do the darker color just in my crease. This is literally, I've been like these colors and the way I do this is the same makeup that I've had since high school, just lighter. Like I was the girl in high school with the really, really dark eye makeup. Like so dark, like you look back at those pictures and you're like, she was going through some shit, which she was. She was, props to, props to that, Jesse. <laughs> and then to finish off the look, I've got my Time Volume Mascara. This is the best vegan cruelty free mascara I have ever used, and I will never go back. Like, for the price point also, it is like so much cheaper than other like clean brands that are not actually clean. This is actually clean, and it actually works. So I'm gonna do one eyelash, one eye at a time, so you can see the difference because, oh my gosh, it, I mean, it's really wild. No, I'm, I'm the girl that gets mascara on her eyelashes, or her eyelid every single day, like after 30 years, still. Look it, there it is. I've also found this trick, since focusing so much on my forehead wrinkles, is you just pull, because you know, instead of like lifting your eyebrows like that, you just pull it up, and then you're not using the muscles. I mean, that's pretty good for vegan, cruelty-free, and all clean. There's really no reason not to switch your mascara. It's important that it's clean because it goes so close to your eye. And you just don't want to know what's in other mascaras that you'll find at Target, okay? With my health team for food sensitivity from Equal Life. So interested to hear what they're gonna say about the foods I'm allowed to eat. They test your, you have to send in blood and they test over 190 different foods to see what you are a little sensitive to, highly sensitive to, and they give you like a whole breakdown. They actually like don't even give you your results until you talk to a health, their healthcare team or whatever. So I still don't know, I took it in December maybe even November, and I finally got my results because I waited so long to schedule my call. From top knot to the skincare routine, that is, that is everything that I do, it's not much. And if I'm going out to the coffee shop or anywhere outside of the house, I will add a perfume. Don't remember perfume at home, but I do love the dime, I love your small baby. I also love the and the voice. I miss that every single time. But it's supposed to smell very similar to some other very fancy and expensive toxic perfume. Um, but anyways, Dime has the best perfumes. I recommend getting a sample pack so you can smell all of them, let your husband smell all of them, and you guys can choose the one that you both love together. Um, but we both ended up choosing this I Love Your Small Baby. 
I actually had already gotten this one after getting the sample pack and then I gave him the sample pack and said choose which one you want from me and he actually chose this one too and that's it so I hope you guys like this video I've never done like a full long long form video for my face and hair not really that detailed and I will leave links and codes in the caption for everything that I use